What's up guys? I just got finished installing this brand new whole home water filtration system. It's made by a company called Express Water. Check it out. This standard whole house system features a sediment filter, an activated granulated carbon filter, and an activated carbon block filter. Now this system will filter out common water impurities like rust, chlorine, silt, sediment, total organic carbon or TOC. It filters out VOCs which are volatile organic chemicals. It also filters out dirt, turbidity, cloudiness, pharmaceuticals, and industrial solvents. It's a really good idea to have a whole house filter system like this in your home whether you're on a private well or if you are in a municipal water supply because especially the municipal water supplies a lot of that water can have residual pharmaceuticals in it and other types of chemicals that don't get removed during the water purification process at the water processing plant. In my case I have a private well and in a private well you run into issues like hard water um, sediment, rust, dirt, that sort of thing. So even in a private well system, you definitely want something like this as well. In my setup, I have a water softener. So I'm going from the water softener into a three-stage um, express water filtration system and then up into the house. The great thing about this is these filters last between 6 and 12 months on average and up to 100,000 gallons. So that's going to last you a while before you have to replace these filters. And they're good sized filters. They're nice and big because they're meant to filter out all the water that's being used in your home. Also, if you like what you see and you like what you hear about this system, be sure to check out the description because I'm going to leave a link in the description below about how to purchase the same exact system as this or one of their other whole home systems. What I really like about this water filtration system is the fact that they include pressure gauges at each filter. A lot of times uh, water filters will not have pressure gauges and that kind of stinks because you can't, you can't read the differential pressure between each filter. Now differential pressure just means a difference in pressure between each filter and that is a good indication of whether or not your filter is clogged. So right now these are brand new filters, plus there's no water running upstairs. So you're going to see the same pressure across each filter. In my case, this is my system pressure and that is about 52 PSI. Now when water is ran upstairs, you'll start to see a pressure drop across each filter. The bigger the difference in pressure drop between each filter could indicate that the filters are starting to clog. So now that I've explained the system to you a little bit, I'm going to show you how to install it. You'll see step by step how I disassembled my old plumbing and filter and then how I installed this system and plumbed it up. And I'll also show you how it comes packaged up in a box already fully assembled. You don't really have to do anything or worry about anything with that part of it. You can just take it out of the box and then start installing it. Now I'll give you a heads up. If you're not comfortable with cutting into your home's plumbing, be sure to hire a licensed plumber to do this for you. I'm an avid DIYer. I like to do everything myself, as much as possible anyway. So I have no problem cutting into my home's plumbing. But once you cut into those pipes, that is the point of no return. So if you don't know what you're doing, do yourself a favor and hire a plumber. But if you like to get your hands dirty, you'll definitely want to stay tuned because you'll see how to install this express water whole house filtration system step by step from start to finish. So let's go. These are the tools and supplies that I'm using. A rotary hammer. And that rotary hammer is going to be used to drill holes for mounting uh, the pipe hangers into my concrete wall. There's a masonry bit. For here we have the, the PEX clamp tool. So this is a crimper that crimps the, it crimps these rings onto the PEX 
piping and fittings. I have a adjustable wrench. I have these um, slip joint pliers. Some 90 degree one inch fittings. I'm using one inch pipe by the way. These are one inch pipe uh, barbed fittings to one inch MPT. So these thread directly into the express water system. Two one inch T's. Uh, three ball valves or shut off valves. And one push to connect fitting. This is going to allow me to um, connect from my water softener into this filter system. And two 10 foot lengths of one inch hex B piping. Plumbing is finally finished. Let me explain a little bit of what I did. So, I'm coming out of my water softener. If I didn't have a water softener, I'd be coming straight out of my well pressure tank, okay? In my case, I have a water softener, so I'm coming straight out of that. Out of the water softener, before I get to the shut off valve for the, for the filter system, I have a T. The T goes up and over, this is my bypass. The bypass that I showed you in the book, same one I explained earlier. So now, when these valves are shut like they are right now, and this valve is open, the water flow will come through here, up, through the bypass, and then up and into the house. Now under normal circumstances, when I want the filtered water, which is going to be like 99.5% of the time 
this valve will be off. These valves will be open and then water will flow from the water softener through here into the filters and then up into the house. Pretty simple. Okay, so next I'm going to install the filter housings back into this bracket. Now here's our first filter. So this is the filter housing. This is the filter. This is a sediment filter. And this is the first stage of filtration in this system. What's very important now is if you have an O-ring that's seated right on top of this filter housing. Okay? This O-ring needs to be seated right inside this filter housing, nice and flat, just like it is now. And then when you screw the filter housing up into the filter housing cap, which is this black piece right here, there will be no leaks. If for some reason this comes loose when you're screwing it up in there, as soon as you pressurize the system, it's gonna like spray out water. Or drip out water, best case, but you know if you have a lot of pressure, it'll spray out water. So just be very mindful of that. So you get the filter housing up into the cap. I like to put a hand underneath the filter housing to apply some pressure and then just slowly turn it clockwise. to tighten it. You want to start by tightening by hand first, okay, to get it snug. Then you have a filter housing wrench. Slip that underneath. That slides up and then these teeth in the filter housing wrench grab onto the filter housing and you tighten that up. Now for these, don't be afraid to tighten them good because you don't want leaks. Now that the filters are installed and everything in the system looks good, the next step is to turn power back on to the well pump and I'm going to pressurize the system again and um, then check the leaks. Okay, I just let water back into the piping. So far, it can't go any further than these ball valves here because they're closed. When I checked here, that I have no leaks here at these joints or anywhere over here. So far, good news. So now what I'm gonna do, I'll put my bypass just to test for leaks there first. All right, so my bypass just opened up. So far, no leaks. Still great news. So now that I know there's no leaks in the bypass, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that, and I'm gonna open up the ball valves to let water into the filter system. And then it'll be the true test. As soon as I opened up that valve, I saw a bunch of water starting to flow into this filter housing, and I thought it was on the outside, but it was actually on the inside. So it's all good. Now, typically in my experience with filter housings, if they're gonna leak, they leak right away. Oftentimes, before you're even finished opening up the ball valve, you can already tell it's leaking. So I'd say, as of right now, this is a really good sign. At this point, we have the system fully installed, the plumbing has no leaks, and we're ready to flush the system. So now, what we're gonna do is, according to the instructions, we'll run some cold water upstairs until it becomes clear, and then run it for an additional five minutes. Because when it first starts flowing, it might look blackish, and that's because of some loose sediment of the carbon that's gonna be in there, but it's perfectly normal. Then it's gonna start running clear. We're gonna run it for an additional five minutes, okay? And then after that, we're gonna stop. And then we're gonna wait 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, we're gonna run it again for 10 minutes straight. And at that point, the water will be ready to use. 
It's gonna appear cloudy at first, but that's totally normal. The cloudiness is actually tiny little air bubbles that are still working their way through to the filters. All right, I'm finally done. Overall, the process took about, I would say three hours from start to finish. That includes dismantling my current plumbing and then replacing the whole thing and replumbing it. So like I said, if you're not completely comfortable cutting into your home's plumbing and doing all the plumbing yourself, I definitely recommend to hire a licensed plumber. But if you are an avid DIYer like myself, then by all means, jump right in. I really hope you got something out of this video. I hope you learned something about Express Water's whole house uh, water filtration system. I hope you learned a little something about uh, plumbing up a new system like this. And just overall, I hope it was an enjoyable video. It would really help if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. And I also do a lot of product reviews as well. So I hope to see you again and thanks for watching.